that's right. Railroad workers spent today cleaning up in southern Siskiyou County. A Union Pacific train derailed just north of Dunsmuir. Good evening, happy Friday. I'm Mike Mangus. KRCR News Channel 7, Shea Arthur made the trip to the infamous Cantera Loop this afternoon. She's here now. Shay. Mike, you remember back in 1991, a Southern Pacific train derailed in the same area, causing a pesticide spill that led to the largest inland environmental disaster in state history. You know, yesterday's derailment wasn't nearly as bad, but the video is still pretty incredible. This is what the tracks in the Cantera Loop area look like this afternoon, after this Union Pacific train seen leaving the station minutes earlier derailed. It was pulling 80 cars, seven of them, all empty lumber flatbeds, ran off the tracks. This is what it looked like just moments after it happened. And though it's an impressive sight, it's still a far cry from what the area looked like some 22 years ago. Back in 1991, a Southern Pacific train derailed, spilling pesticide into the upper arm of the Sacramento River. The accident was devastating to the surrounding wildlife, killing everything in a 38-mile span of water. I was on a water truck that was on a barge. We sucked water out of the the lake out of the bottom where they thought that flow was coming. Jerry Hill worked the cleanup effort. He tells me as we've progressed, so has safety on the tracks. In 91, there, there would be quite a few derailments, maybe not c catastrophic derailments, but there would be a lot. We've improved their track systems up here. Uh, the training for the engineers and conductors have increased. Uh, the safety on the track itself has been uh, better. Today, extra crews and equipment were out cleaning up the area. The hope was to have the tracks fully open by the end of the day. And since that accident, Hill told me the fishing in the area has improved. Union Pacific has also added extra safeguards around the tracks. And as for this accident, the price tag for the derailment and the cause are still unknown. Shea Arthur, KRCR News Channel 7.